challenging times for many hotels as we approach Memorial Day weekend. But one hotel chain managing to thrive in this environment. Shares of Wyndham Worldwide soaring since the March bottom up well over 200%. Just since March, Wyndham also the top performing stock in the S&P 500 for the month of April. Joining us first on CNBC, Steve Holmes, Chairman and CEO, Wyndham Worldwide. Good morning, sir. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Mark. Good to see you. It, is business reflecting your stock price? Is business that good? In brief. In brief, we've got a very diversified business model that is extremely resilient. We have both product differentiation, we have timeshare hotels, rentals, but also we have good, good geographic distribution. And we kind of run the whole gamut of product as well, from economy all the way up through upper upscale. So we have a lot of diversification, which gives us resilience. Which segment is outperforming right now? Uh, they're all performing well. I think the rental segment and the uh, timeshare segments happen to be doing very well. Uh, despite the fact that hotel stays are down overall around the world, uh, our rental transaction volume is up as well as our stays in the, in the timeshare product. So the exchanges to go into our, our timeshare business is doing very well. You said timeshare is doing very well. Absolutely. Interesting. In this, in this economy, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have expected that. Well, it is doing well because people like timeshare. People who own timeshare tend to buy more. About 40% of the people who buy timeshare buy more. And some people would say, gee, demand has to be down. Demands are down for hotels. They must be down for timeshare. The fact is demand isn't any different than it was a year ago. It's about zero. Nobody, nobody goes out looking for timeshare to buy. But when they see the product, they feel the product, they use the product, they like it and they buy it. Could it be also that in, in the timeshare properties, instead of potentially these people looking at real estate, for example, buying something on an island overlooking the water, instead they're going to say, okay, the safer bet right now, given the real estate market, is to do something that doesn't tie me up into eternity. That's, that's a very good point. Actually, you do get tied up with timeshare because you own it for your entire life. But you're only making a $20,000 investment versus a, a $400,000 investment for that house overlooking the water that you were speaking about. So there is a tremendous amount of flexibility. And with our product, you actually buy points. They're backed by real estate, but you buy points that are very flexible. You can stay where you want to stay for as long as you want to stay. And we can sell you the number of points that you want that fit your travel needs. Now, um, so where do, you, where do you intend to grow in the future? All, what part of your business? All three of the businesses will, will experience growth into the future. Uh, I think the fastest growth over the next three to five years will be our hotel business, actually. Okay. I think we'll see that grow dramatically internationally, as well as each one of our brands. And we have 11 brands from Days Inn, Super 8, Ramada, Howard Johnson, all the way up through Wyndham. Each one has a different strategy for growth, both domestically as well as internationally. Memorial Day weekend's coming up. A lot of people potentially traveling. How much more discounting and incentives are you doing this year versus last in years past? There's a lot of promotion going on. You're absolutely right, Rebecca. There's, uh, we're running many promotions. We're running a promotion here in New York City where we're connecting uh, Cirque du Soleil with our Win uh, Wyndham Gardens in the city. You can stay and get a promotional offer to stay in the city and go to the show. Uh, but we're also running promotion, Save Summer promotion, where somebody can win up to a million uh, Wyndham Rewards points, which is our loyalty program, and that's that's a great it's a great loyalty program, but it's a great way to promote the summer and get people out traveling. Uh, I'm sorry, Mark, but AAA just reported uh, last week that they're actually expecting three percent more cars on the road during the uh, during the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Well, with gas down from last year, that that will be a little bit easier to swing. Steve Holmes, thank you very much, sir, and of course Thanks, continued uh, success and prosperity with Wyndham.